Hello, my friends. It's good to see you. Welcome to Storytime at the Library. Well, today we are going to read a book called Toot and Puddle. Hmm. Looks like two little pigs. Let's see what they're up to. Toot and Puddle by Holly Hobie. Toot and Puddle live together in Woodcock Pocket. It was such a perfect place to be that Puddle never wanted to go anywhere else. Toot, on the other hand, loved to take trips. He had been to Cape Cod, the Grand Canyon, and the Redwood Forest. One day in January, Toot decided to set off on his biggest trip ever. He decided to see the world. Do you want to come along, he asked Puddle. We could start with someplace warm and wild. Puddle preferred to stay home. I love snow, he thought. Here's a postcard. Dear Puddle, I've made new friends in Africa. Is winter getting boring? From Toot. Meanwhile, presenting Puddle at Pocket Pond. Woo, woo, woo. He's having such fun in the snow. Dear Puddle, Egypt is awesome. The pyramids are the greatest. I wish you could meet me at the oasis. Your friend Toot. March meant maple syrup. Puddle wished Toot were there to taste the pancakes. Dear Puddle, can you believe I'm in the Solomon Islands? They're in the Pacific Ocean. I spend all day underwater. I love being in a school of fish. Has spring come yet? Your pal Toot. Yes, spring had arrived. Puddle was having mud season. Yay! Look at him. Splash, splash, splash. Splash, splash. Even in the bathtub. Hi, Puds. I'm in India, or is this a dream? It's your birthday, March 3rd. Hope your party is the best. Friends forever, toot. Back at Woodcock Pocket. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow that nobody can deny. Dear Puddle, help! Mountain climbing is scarier than jumping out of a plane. Remember when I talked you into going parachuting? Your friend in the Alps, toot. Puddle remembered. There they are in their parachutes. Dear Puddle, you would love Matador Camp. The bull's name is Dendio. Bravo from Spain. There's two. In July, presenting Puddle at Pocket Pond. Every time he jumped in, he cheered, Ole! Dear Puddle, August is cold in Antarctica, but I've made more friends here than anywhere yet. Are you going to the beach this year? I miss you. Do you miss me? Friends forever. Toot. Yes, Puddle missed his friend. Dear Pudsy, bonjour from Paris. Art is everywhere. Love is in the air. Au revoir. Toot. I love art, thought Puddle. Look, he did his own painting. 
<laughs> Dearest Pazio, Italy is heaven. It's one big treat. Your friend, Tuzio. Meanwhile, it was Halloween in Woodcock Pocket. Puddle decided to be horrifying. Ah! One morning in November, Toot woke up and thought, it's time to go home. So the year he gets the letter. Me cooking, cleaning up. Yay, Toot's coming! December called for celebration. Here's to all your adventures around the world, said Puddle. And here's to all your adventures right at home, said Toot. And here's to being together again, Toot and Puddle said at the same time. Toot was happy to be back in his own bed, and Puddle was happy too. I wonder if it will snow all night, Puddle said. Oh, I hope so, said Toot. Then we'll go sliding, said Puddle. And skiing, said Toot. Good night, Toot. Good night, Puddle. So Toot and Puddle, wasn't that fun? They were so different. One liked to stay home. One liked to go and travel on adventures. Well, they both had fun, and guess what? Even though they're different, they were still friends. And that's true for you. You don't always have to be the same and like all of the same things to be friends with someone. So today with our craft, we are going to make a travel coaster. And you should have all the supplies in your bag, so let's get started. Okay, this week in your craft kit, you're gonna have a piece of tile and a little piece of sticky cork and some pictures and Mod Podge and a paintbrush. And so the first thing you're gonna do, for, this is gonna be a travel coaster. So the little pictures you have might be places you wanna visit or maybe things you wanna do, things you wanna see, things like that. So the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna take your cork and you're gonna peel that sticky off, okay? Peel it off. And you're gonna stick it on the back, not on the shiny side, but on the back of that tile, you're gonna put that down. And then we're gonna take a little bit of Mod Podge. And this is sticky stuff. Get some on your paintbrush. And you're gonna paint part of your tile you might have to work a little quickly because this might dry pretty fast. And then we're gonna put a picture on there. Well, I guess first maybe you should kind of lay them out to see where you might want them on your coaster, right? Where are we gonna put them? Maybe about like that. So then we can kind of try to remember where we want them. And then you can stick that down. Lift it up. Mod Podge is a funny thing. It's kind of like glue, and yet it's also kind of seals. So let's put that guy right about there. We're going to put that on there. Let's stick it down. Your fingers might get sticky. Let's see, we were going to put this one up here, huh? About like so. And it's okay if you go over the top of the other picture with the Mod Podge, that's okay because we're going to do that at the end anyway. Okay? We just want to make sure that all those edges are down pretty well. And let's see. Yeah, we'll put this one here. Put them on there. Oh, 
I'll put him a little crooked. And then I'm going to put some on top yet. This one's a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe about like, uh, maybe I'll turn him. Maybe like that. How's that? Now he's kind of going over the edge, so I'm going to put a little bit on the edge and bend him over a little bit. Nope. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit. Gotta hold him down a little bit. There. Okay. So once you have all your pictures on there, make sure they're kind of good and flat. Then you're going to take more Mod Podge and you're going to go over the whole thing. It'll dry clear, just like, you know, glue dries clear. So don't worry about messing up your colors on your picture because it'll be okay. There. And then once you get it all painted, all covered up, You'll need to let it sit for a little while till it's all dry. And then once it's all dry, you can use it to put your cup on. You can use it to put your, I don't know, do you drink coffee? I don't know, maybe you drink tea or hot chocolate or just a water glass. You can put that on there too. There you go. If it gets bubbled up, you can just kind of push them down like that a little bit. Sometimes they need a little persuasion to be flat because it's paper. Okay, but once it's all covered up, don't go over it too many times because then you'll start to tear it. So then you'll be done. Just let it dry. Come back in a little while and you should be ready to go.